What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics. I'm here today to talk to you about the game Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, uh, which released today, May 22nd, 2012. Uh, today it released on both the PlayStation 3, which is what the copy is I have here, as well as on the Xbox 360. Uh, this game is also going to be a PC Windows game, but it has not released yet. It will release on Windows on June 12th, 2012, so there's still a couple weeks off from the release for PC, but don't you worry, PC gamers, you will get a chance to play this game as well. Uh, this game is the fourth edition of the console versions of the Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon games. Uh, there hasn't been a release of a Ghost Recon game since 2007, which was uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, uh, which was kind of a flopped game. Uh, didn't really enjoy it too much. Advanced Warfighter 1, which was a few years previous to that, was a really good game. Uh, but this one, not such a good game. Uh, but, er... Advanced Warfighter 2 wasn't such a good game. This one here, Ghost Recon Advanced Soldier or Future Soldier, is supposed to be an absolutely epic game, which I will show you later on with some gameplay. You'll get a little feel for what the game's like as well. Uh, but what this game is right now, it is, uh, as I said before, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Uh, this uh, game is good with the PlayStation Move. It is kind of, uh, compatible with the PlayStation Move. Uh, it is also uh, 3D compatible, which I am definitely very excited about to use on my new Vizio 3D TV, which I uh, did a review on previously on the Triz Tech and Electronics channel. Uh, the game is rated Mature M for 17 years and up. Uh, it is released by Ubisoft. Uh, they do all of the Tom Clancy games released on Ubisoft. Uh, Ghost Recon... Um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, all of those. Uh, this game has a few different multiplayer aspects. Uh, it has single player and co-op mode, uh, so you can either play by yourself or with a friend. Um, it has a gunsmith capability, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, what this capability is, is, you have over 20 million, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, authentic weapons uh, to be made with the gunsmith aspect. So it's cool, you can uh, make, design, and make your own games, which is actually a really, really cool concept. Uh, this version of the game, I also neglected to say, is the Signature Edition. Uh, so, there's a few different editions that have been released of this game. And I don't know if you guys can see this too well, but this is the Signature Edition. Uh, and what it includes is some, an exclusive Guerrilla Mode map, which is an online uh, gameplay. Uh, it has a couple of weapons. It has two exclusive weapons to be released. Uh, a, a couple of skins. And 48 additional headgear options. Uh, so it has a few cool little aspects added to it that are different than the original or normal release of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Sig Future Soldier. Um, but this game has been greatly anticipated. As I said, it will continue along the lines of the Ghost Recon series. Um, it, I am definitely excited to show you some gameplay, which... Uh, but before that, I'm going to open up the game, and I'm going to show you uh, what comes in the package for the Ghost Recon Future Soldier uh, release. Um, the game itself costs 60 bucks, just as any PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 game. Uh, but I would like to get into show you what is on the inside, the contents of the game right now. So let's take a look. All right, at guys. That. So here we are with the content from inside the box for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Uh, here, of course, is the game itself. Uh, you can take a up-close look at that. Ghost Recon Future Soldier, rated M for Mature, made by Ubisoft. Uh, pretty cool little design on the game. The Future Soldier guy is pretty cool. Um, so that is the game. I have it sitting on top of the case. Now we work, we're going to work left to right. Uh, so here is the Ghost Recon Future Soldier. A quick book and basically what it is it has uh, in here the table of contents of what's in here it as you're getting started to set up the game and whatnot it has your accessing the in-game manual which is on the game there is no hard copy manual like there was with Max Payne 3 uh, it is on the game itself um, 
So you have that, and then you have the technical support and support and warranty. It has a li limited warranty on it, and uh, works with PlayStation Network, and then your basic controls. So if you open this up here, you have some look at your PlayStation Move controller, and uh, your control has a thing to pre-order Far Cry 3, and then it just has some basic other uh, documentation things for PlayStation Network, warranty, uh, whatnot, which are some important key aspects when having games that are mass released such as this. Not all of them always work properly. Uh, this here is the Uplay Passport, uh, and what this is is it you activate your Uplay uh, with the code listed uh, here below, and with with the code listed across the top when you activate it it uh, gives you some online content uh, that is restricted that you cannot receive uh, without the card so if you just have the game you cannot access those things without your card uh, this here looks like it's just a little shot of the front future soldier uh, but indeed it is actually uh, an offer from GameStop. I don't know if you guys can read that too well. Uh, but what this is, it is to unlock your exclusive GameStop weapons. Weapon skins, Gorilla Mode map, and additional headgear for PlayStation 3 system. So, uh, what this is, is you uh, redeem it with this little code uh, below, which I'm going to keep off screen right now. But you have a little code that you uh, enter in on in the PlayStation Store, and it allows you to uh, get some exclusive weapons uh, that GameStop offers. So if you uh, receive the game from somewhere else, I don't know if that's in there, but I'm assuming that other stores have similar offers. With that said, you guys get the basic idea of what comes in the case itself. So with that, now we are going to get into a little bit of gameplay. I have yet to play the game, so this is going to be just as new to me as it is to you. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so here we are with a little taste of gameplay from Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Here we are, we are running through the middle of this town. Uh, we are trying to rendezvous with this guy, uh, Pera, that we are trying to rendezvous with him. Uh, right now I am taking cover and I am about to throw a sensor. As you see the thing light up and all these things, these sensors are used to go around blind corners or when you're hitting behind cover. Uh, it shows you where all the bad guys are. Uh, as you can see, there are two right here, and it says to aim. So we are going to shoot those two guys, as well as this guy over here. And now there's some more coming out of the woodwork, obviously. Uh, this is the first mission of the game, so uh, there we haven't I haven't played too much at all. I got through the first mission, and then... I uh, decided that I would re-up myself here uh, so that I could show you exactly what was going on with some of the gameplay. And as you can see, it definitely is a third-person shooter, uh, but when you zoom in, it does move it more towards the first person, as well as you can zoom in by hitting, pushing in the right joystick. Uh, you can definitely uh, zoom all the way in uh, like that, which is what we're going to have to do here. Uh... In just a moment, we're going to watch this cutscene load a little bit. We see these bad guys. That's the guy that we are trying to protect, the guy that they just showed. Uh, now we're going to bring up the scope and take some of these guys out so that we can try to protect this guy. Uh, you can shoot through walls when you are zoomed in, and uh, if the red is up, then you can zoom in to shoot them. Uh, that way, see, like that guy, I killed both of those guys around the walls. Uh, trying to shoot this guy through this truck. Alright. More guys. So we've got a lot of guys over here. And we're trying to protect that guy without letting him get killed over there. Take these guys out of high. Snipers on the top. Uh, the one thing I've noticed about this game that's actually pretty cool is the, your teammates that you play with in the game, uh, the computer ran AI for your teammates is actually really good. It does control guys to where if you, you know, get distracted or you look away from the 
a game for a split second, they do pick up the slack. Uh, I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good thing to just sit back and watch your team or the guys playing, the computer playing, and let it do the work. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that if you, you know, look away at, like away from the screen for a split second or something, you get a phone call or, or something arises that you're not going to completely lose yourself and uh, get lost or die. I mean, if you're not under proper cover, you are going to die. But... Uh, as long as you are in proper cover, uh, you should be just fine. And I'm shooting at these guys, giving you the basic idea here. I'm trying to get to this one spot up here a little ways where I can show you a little bit more intense of uh, view. But basically, you aim with the, uh, left, with L1, you shoot with R1. Uh, L2 throws your sensors, or you can switch by hitting right or left on the D-pad, and you can see, you can switch between sensor or frag grenades, um, which is a pretty cool little deal. So you don't have to shoot with uh, either one, but, or you can switch between your sensor or your, your thing, which is kind of a cool aspect, your sensor or frag grenades. I just took that guy out. Uh, now we are going to go in here. Um... So, you basically get the idea, you, you know, you move front and back with left joystick, side to side with the right joystick, uh, pushing in the right joystick, zooms in, brings up your scope and zooms in, you zoom in, and if you want to zoom in further, you press in on the other joystick, uh, and it will zoom in a little bit. Um, with that said, we are now going to climb up these ladders, we're still trying to rendezvous with this guy. Uh, you hold square when you are at a, la a ladder and it will take you up. But so far, I mean, the game is kind of slow paced, but you get the basic idea. It's definitely fun. I think that this game, uh, I'm going to show you this little breach uh, deal here. We're going to breach in through here in just a second. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to throw a sensor in here to do this. I'm doing this all muted so that I don't have uh, any kind of issues with copyright music or or anything like that, so uh, I am just doing it muted, so it's kind of hard to remember exactly what's going on, uh, but I'm up against the wall now, I'm going to press X to breach the do doorway, and it goes into slow motion, like a bullet time kind of deal.